Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're fishing for salmon out of Racine, Wisconsin. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, something magical actually happens in the month of September along the shores of Lake Michigan. And we're with Captain Caleb Zorn today. And from Waukegan, Illinois, all the way up to Door County, any port is good to fish these big old Chinook salmon, right? Yeah, port, tributaries, you know, anything with flowing water where these salmon are stocked. So they're going right back to you this time of year. The next couple weeks are going to be great in the harbors. What I should talk about too, this is an opportunity for guys that don't have big boats. They can shore fish, they can go out in a small boat in these harbors, and they can catch a, a 30 pound fish. Yeah, that's what's great about this. You know, the shoreline this time of year starts to load up with people casting, you know, crankbaits, cast masters, and uh, anybody, it's accessible for everybody to come down and do it. We'll catch some, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, we got some special guests today. We do. We got Gunt, our old buddy, right? Yep. Yeah, and we got Blake. Yep. So we're going to catch a salmon. Oh, we're going to get them salmon. All right. Hey, folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. You know, Len, there's a lot of ATVs and UTVs out there in the market, and not a lot of people know exactly what oil and how much oil to put into their machines, but Amsoil has a very easy, quick, and simple kit, don't they? That's correct. We do. We have a kit for most popular machines. What you need to do is go on Amsoil.com, go to the lookup guide, enter your machine in there, and it'll tell you which kit you need. It's fairly simple, and the kits contain all of the same products that we've talked about before. All the high quality, the lubricants, everything's in there and it's the right amount. It's the filter and any gaskets that might be required as well. Wow, that is easy. I'm gonna go to amsoil.com and get my kit today. Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. You know, they come in and what we do is we, we, again, we wanna hear their story. We wanna make sure they're okay. We wanna give them guidance. A lot of times we call it quarterbacking their case, right? Help them put themselves in a position where they can get the best medical treatment they're taken care of. What we want to do is make sure that the only thing they have to worry about, John, is getting better, right? And we focus on everything else. It's time to say big. During the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event, with rates as low as 3.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. So visit your local Yamaha dealer today to say, then let's ride. Hey, welcome back. As we talked about at the top of the program, we're down in Racine, Wisconsin, and we're in the harbor area and we're fishing for king salmon. And as we talked about, it's a fight of a lifetime when you get one on, it isn't really it? It truly is, John. And you know what? This is such a nice, easy way to fish. Now, you can come down here and you can cast crankbaits all around the harbor and catch your fish. You could actually troll if you wanted to. But uh, this is the most relaxing way to do that is with a bobber. Wow and uh, explain what you're using for bait. You know, so right here, I got some spawn. It's from the fish we caught earlier in the week. And uh, I just cured them up with, you know, some different kind of cures from the West Coast. Got a hook on there. I got my uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon cigar. Okay. And uh, I run it up with a weight and definitely use a slip bobber. And you're gonna want a barrel swivel because as much as these fish spin around out there, your line will get twisted. Okay. And I don't know, usually, like to start out about two feet off the bottom and maybe go down to a foot or four or five feet off the bottom. Just gotta find out where the fish are feeding. And then you just sit back, relax, and when that bobber goes down, you set that old set eagle claw hook. hook, right? Yep. Oh my gosh! Hey, look at that! Gunt's <laughs> the first to hook up! <laughs> All right! <laughs> All right, hey Blake, go up and help Gunt, okay? Hey, a nice hook set there too, buddy. You really set the hook, man. Feel pretty big? Feel pretty big there, Gunt? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gunter is our guy that we bring out here, really gets hooked up. Ooh, going around the front. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. You gotta watch out for the he, trolling. Yeah. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. This is a big fish, folks. I just saw him jump. Come through, I had to get all the way back here. And let me get you on this side. That fish took you all the way back here from the front of the boat. Doing isn't a it? little dance around the boat. Yeah. Ooh, is it a big one, Caleb? Oh, oh, that is a beautiful fish, Caleb. That is a that, nice fish. How big is that, buddy? 20? I, it's got to be in the upper teens at least. Whoa. Look at that thing just go. Yeah, and tightening the dragon is still. Yeah, okay, well, here's. Coming up on that corner. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm keeping my, my rod, my bobber out there just in case we get a chance at another one. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that. Oh. Whoa. And there he goes again. Ooh. Nice job. Oh, oh nice. hey, Gunn. You've been doing the salmon fishing a long time. It's still a thrill every time, isn't it, buddy? I love it. I know you I do. Absolutely love it. All right, come on, bring that fish back here, Caleb. Now, this is a four-year-old salmon, folks. And I'll get out of your way here. And um, we should explain to the folks that it's a four-year cycle. They live for four years, and they come back to the port where they were planted to spawn, and then they die, right? Correct, John. Yeah, I mean, you, you summed it up perfectly. As you can see, we got a male. And uh, I'll show you real quick. He's going to grow the hook jaw Okay. right there. And uh, usually the, the, the males will come in here and start rutting around. They kind of do the whole spawning system, but there's no natural reproduction here. Okay. But there is on the other side of the, yes. of the lake yep. over in Michigan. But, I mean, what a beautiful fish. And there are days when you come out here and you bring your clients and they'll catch five or six of these, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, Definitely that... get plenty of good days like that. Now, is that edible? This fish, yeah. I mean, it's still edible. I would put it on a smoker, me personally, but I get plenty of customers that still grill them. Yeah, I hooked <laughs> up. Holy cow, am I hooked up. Did you see that bobber going on, you guys? That was so cool, man. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, oh dang it. No. Took a run on me, guys, and I don't know if he broke the line or he did break the line. Oh, darn it. Gunter's got another one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy cow, look at that thing ripping line. Now, Caleb, what's he doing different? John, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm actually going to throw him out there. I gave him some old spawn from like a week and a half ago that I cured up. And I was done with it, and I told him to just take it, and he brought it along this morning. <laughs> and, you know, hey, the smell of the eggs can make a difference, big, I guess. Big time. I know what bag I'm pulling from Yeah, next. no kidding. But look at Gunter, man. Hey, you got a smile on your face up there, buddy? <laughs> yes, he does. I mean, I can't believe, folks, again, the power of these fish. Oh, man, that's a big one. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, look at the gun go, man. <laughs> and, and he's so calm when he fights these fish, Caleb. Yeah, he's too calm. So yeah, don't get too excited there, Gunter. Oh, here's the bobber. Ah, uh, fish has still got some life. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a while. Early in a fight. Come on back here, Gunter. Come on back here, buddy. He's taking you all around the boat. Okay. Blake, get all these rods out <laughs> of the trying. way. Holy <laughs> cow. I know. <laughs> hey, you cannot control these fish, folks. They control oh. you. It's amazing. Well, here, maybe I'll just get out of the way here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at this. Uh, are all the rods out of the water now, Caleb? Uh, Dad, you should have reeled yours in. I wanted to get another one. Holy cow, look at that. I mean, oh. it's just sheer incredible power. They, they rule you, man. Yeah, they do. You're going to have to come back up here? I don't know. <laughs> Caleb, I should have my bigger clam net, shouldn't I? Yeah, but we're making it work. Yeah. Okay, here he is. Here he is. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, oh. my gosh. Yeah, they have a mind of their uh, own. Okay, here he is. Here he is. Nice net job there. So, Caleb, yes. I guess I got to ask you this. I mean, that's two bites in a row for Gunt, and both those fish came in the last five minutes. Gunter, are you tired there, buddy? Oh, yeah. Okay, but 
uh, so tell me again now. He's using a different, different uh, cure, a, a different skein or a yep. different fish same, egg. Same, same fish eggs from the same fish, but we just cured them up a little differently. And as uh, if guys don't know how to do all that, can you buy skein or? or there's fish? very few places you can buy it, but there's definitely plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to cure it. So if you can get your hands on it, definitely just YouTube some cures, and there's plenty out there for you. Okay, now is this another male? This is another male. Okay, and they're not actually uh, biting to eat. No, they're they're eating the eggs because they're more territorial out here. So what they're doing is those eggs are in their, you know, not their nest, but they're kind of just rooting it up down there. And if it's another fish's eggs, they don't like it. So they're they're more popping them is what they're doing. So when they pop them and put it in their mouth, you want it to taste a little bit better so they hold on to it. It really is incredible when you get one of these fish on, but in between, is this anything more relaxing than what we're doing? Yeah, we have a perfect day to fish this type of fishing, and yeah, that fight is really, really awesome. Well, all we do is cast the bobber out, folks, and you kind of let the wind have the bobber drift down. Mm -hmm. and, and Caleb, when that bobber goes down, do you hit him immediately? If you you want to be on them, John. So like if that bobber goes down, a lot of times they'll hit it so fast it'll come up. So kind of get all the slack out of your line. I tell all my customers just to kind of tighten up and make sure you're always with the bobber. As soon as it goes down, I tell them just to start reeling. And then as soon as the rod loads up, set the hook like a all in one action, reel and set. Because a lot of times you want to get the slack out. We were fishing off of Racine, Wisconsin, a half hour drive from Milwaukee, 45 minutes from Chicago, and six hours from Minneapolis. You know, folks, with my buddies using leeches and crawlers all day, I'm glad I've got the Johnson Pump washdown kit. All I can do then is spray down the boat and get all that stuff out of there. But the Johnson Pump washdown kit has another use. It's 92 degrees and humid today. Now watch. I'll take care of my buddy Tom in the back. Ah, there, there we go, Tommy! Oh, hey, man! <laughs> what do you think of that, buddy? I love it. I need one. Yeah. Can he put them on pontoon boats? They're great for pontoon boats. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Wait until my wife has sees that one. I'm going to get her, too. <laughs> yes, sir, Tommy. That is refreshing, buddy. I am going to get you a Johnson Pump washdown kit. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple. It's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough, safe on fish, easy to use, and a telescoping handle. Learn more about Fortis nets at clamoutdoors.com. The best anglers know that there's always more out there. So they're always looking for an edge. And when they hook up with us, they find it. The most advanced motors, shallow water anchors, and more. Now even more powerful and capable when you connect them with your hummingbird. When you fish with us, you fish for more. Caleb, you're hooked up now, buddy. John, we're, we we slid into some real tight cover here. Now, you got to worry about piers uh -oh. and all that stuff, right? Yeah, there's a lot to worry about in here. I'm coming up and over, Ryan. Okay, yeah, do that. You want me to move? You want me to move? Nope. Here, let me get my line in. Let me get my line in. Big fish, buddy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I hooked up on you here? Oh, my gosh. What should I do, Caleb? Here. Hey, hold on, John. Okay, let me bite just, that off. Nope. I just got to keep this fish low real quick. Okay. Yeah, we're in an area here, folks, and you can see in the background with lots of piers and whatnot. Off. I'm clear of your line. Boy, they just, you oh cannot control these fish, can you? No. I mean, when you set the hook in here, you better stay on them. Oh. <laughs> Look at that rod bending, too, man. Golly. So, Caleb, there's actually a couple more weeks of this, too, huh? Oh, we're going to have at least three to four weeks of this. Yeah, we're still early in the year. That's awesome, buddy. And these fish, you know, this water cooled down probably five, six degrees in the harbor, and they got so much more fight in them since the water cooled down a little bit. Oh. Uh, right here, right here, right here. 
Oh, there. Yeah, all right, guys. Nice job. All right. Hey, Gunter, heads up on the net there. That was a good job. You only really had one shot at him. But you can see behind us here, folks, all of these piers, and, and we've only got just a little bit of room to keep them away from going in there. And once they wrap around those piers, man, you are in trouble. Now that's another male? It is, John. Uh, three males. And we've been uh, getting a lot of males this year, so it's trying to tough keeping the spawn, you know, replenished. Well, again, and what I want to tell the folks is we talked about it just a few minutes ago. When that bobber goes down, before you set the hook, you got to tighten your line. Got to tighten up, and that's exactly what I did with this fish, the bobber. We actually, Gunter and I almost doubled up. We each had a bite there, and then uh, I threw it back out, and the bobber just got buried, and all I did was just reel tightened up and set the hook. So any of the ports along Lake Michigan, maybe you can name a few where guys can yeah, do this. Yeah, no, Port Washington, Milwaukee, I mean, even go up further north to Sheboygan. All these all these tributaries, all these harbors are going to have plenty of salmon in them in the next couple weeks. So should mention, too, the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal's got quite a few oh, shrubs, yeah. too. Yep. But, I mean, folks, really, they have an opportunity to catch one of these. And all those harbors you, you just mentioned, Caleb, they have areas for shore fishermen, too. Absolutely. There's great shore spots. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Starting Wednesday, September 28th, you can save $30 on the Muddy Trail Camera Combo on sale for $69.99. Oh, now Gunter's hooked up. Oh, that pier is so close, too. Oh, keep away from those poles there, Gunter. Keep them away from the poles. Okay, we're going to try to net this guy pretty soon, right, Caleb? Yeah, John, you know... They're just getting active here a little bit. We probably missed four or five fish. I just caught that one on the last 10 minutes. But folks, you gotta you gotta call Caleb and come and do this because uh, it is just a blast. Gunt, how you doing there, buddy? Having a blast. You never get all that excited though, you know? Ready, Look at that rod bending too, folks. Whoa, come on back here. Come on back. Yeah, I'll get out of the way. Okay. And you got to be ready to move. And again, he's folks, yeah, again, folks, he's got to keep him away from the motor. He's got to keep him away from the poles. Wow. Bury that thing. Can you force him up at all, Caleb, or not? A little bit. Ooh, Ooh that's, a, that's, a, that's dark, pretty big fish, that's man. Nice. Yeah. First female of the day. Oh, that is a female it's a gun? Female. Okay, female we got here. Oh, oh not quite. I, I wanted to, but... Okay. Turn that hat. Oh. And nice job. Oh, what do you, yeah. what do you mean you that's said a that's a small... Fish. You said to me that that's a small started, one? Started out fighting like a small one, and then... that's Now, this is a big here. female, oh, right? Oh, I just yep. missed one. Okay, oh, Blake, we'll keep it. Right wow, up, that's a 22-pound fish, that's isn't a, it? That's a 20, 20... One pound fish, absolutely. Now this is a female. This is a female. It doesn't have the uh, the hook jaw growing, and you can just see the belly on it, John. Look how much bigger that fish is. Now, is, is this where you get your bait from, your skein? Yeah, it is. Yep, this is where our eggs come from. Uh, so real quick, so you take the eggs out of there, and what do you do to get them ready for bait? So the biggest thing is there's all sorts of cures, and a lot of them come from the West Coast. And like I said, if you YouTube them, there's a hundred different cures out there, and. Uh, the biggest thing is just trying to preserve the eggs and maybe add them, you know, a little color to them. They like pink some days or orange some days, but that's the biggest thing. Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. And what I want to mention too, folks, if you want to do this, Caleb's got another six weeks of this type of fishing. And it really is like bluegill fishing, it casting is. out a bobber and waiting for that bobber to go down. And uh, I want to see Blake get one, Absolutely. you know? She just missed one. Yeah, nice job, Gunt. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2022 Fishing Contest. William Meyer of Chippewa Falls caught this 63-inch sturgeon on the Chippewa River on a night crawler. Max Leonard of Plymouth caught this 17-inch white crappie on Lake Geneva on a shiner. Jim Nitka of Green Bay caught this 32-inch walleye on Green Bay on a flicker minnow. David Zeltzer of Rhinelander boated this 51-inch muskie on the Rhinelander flowage. He was using a white bastard. And this week's kids winners are Billy Hammond of Kakana caught this 14-inch crappie on Archibald Lake on a scrub. And Reed Stolfus of Pickett, Wisconsin caught this 32-inch walleye on Green Bay on a crankbait.
Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. Starting Wednesday, September 28th, you can save $15 on the Wildlife Research Center Magnum Combo on sale for $9.99. And save $500 on the Muddy Bull Box Blind on sale for $2,999.99. <laughs> I could hear that all the way back here. Oh, yeah. That came out of nowhere. Okay, well, just take your time. Take your time. <laughs> the fun is in the fight, Blake. <laughs> is, it, is it close already? It is, John. I don't think it's a real big one, but it's good enough. <laughs> all right. Now, okay, Blake, don't force it. Don't force it. Oh, yeah. Tell me when you're ready, Caleb. All right. Yeah? Yeah? Yep. Okay. All right, Blake. Man, that was... Turn him right into me. Now that's a little guy. It is, John. Oh, I missed Ooh, him. Oh, it still fights like crazy, though. No, that's... I mean, little is relative, you know? Yeah. I We're mean... Getting a little uh, spoiled today. So your bobber went down, huh? Yep. <laughs> right there. All right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on, guys. There you go. That's now, what, nice do call, what do they call those little ones? Call them jacks or... Is a joke, little Timmy's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one now. That this, one. You... This fish, yeah, you could definitely put on the grill. I think I'm gonna keep this one. If you guys don't want them, I'm gonna smoke them up tonight. Put them yeah. in the brine. And I'll tell you what, your smoked fish is delicious, yep. Caleb. I've had it many times. <laughs> well, Blake, tell the folks what that's like. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's super, super fun, and it's like bobber fishing is just like super easy to learn. And <laughs> that bobber just went straight down. And even though it's like the smallest one of the day, they still fight, and it's a lot of fun. Now we're catching these right now. It's uh, two o'clock, and uh, so they'll bite at times all day long. They'll bite all day, John. You know, and earlier when we got a little flurry going there, when Gunter doubled and we had all them bites, we had a little overcast, and then we kind of sat dry for probably two hours, three hours, and now they're getting active again. You know what, Caleb? One of my favorite Johnsonville products is the Johnsonville Summer Sausage, but they actually just came out with the new Johnsonville Summer Sausage Sticks. You can bring them anywhere you want. They're a great snack, and they are also made with the same ingredients as the Summer Sausage. They come in three flavors, original, beef, and garlic. They're delicious. I can't wait. All right, take a bite. How good are those? The lot delicious. <laughs> oh my God. After being out here for a couple hours, this definitely hits the spot. The new Johnsonville Summer Sausage Sticks. Find them at your favorite retailers today. Smoking great meat takes lots of time, but 76 years, that's legendary. It's also how long Johnsonville has been perfecting summer sausage, which now comes in snack sticks. Taste the legend. Hey, the Gunter's hooked up again. All right, Gunter. There's a pile of them on the side. Uh, he of is a legendary angler, isn't he, Caleb? <laughs> John, he is. Oh, Gunt. Is that a big one, Gunt? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> look at the splash. I want to see that. Sometimes they'll come clear out of the water, folks. That fish is getting close to the boat already. Going around. They're taking the <laughs> oh, Gunter oh, around. This is a whopper dopper right here, gang. Whoa, look at that. Did you see that, Caleb? John, he's an acrobatic fish. That really <laughs> is amazing. And one thing, folks, you can come down to these harbors and cast crankbaits at night and catch these, too. I love oh, that's it. a big it's fish. It's just a big torpedo female. up there. Look at it's that. A female. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think one more turn. Oh, oh no, there's big. another run. I, hey, Gunt, as soon as he got saw that net, what did he do? Oh, they take off again. Yeah. Okay, are we close here? Oh, we're going to get this one. There we go. Oh, Gunter. So, oh, oh, my Gunter. gosh. Look at that fish. Now, that's another female right there, you guys. It is, John. And that one really ate a dinny. Yeah, I mean, Gunter had the little... The little, we call it the pre-bob, it went down, came right back up, and all he did was jig it, and the bobber just shot right back under. And again, these, these fish are eating because the eggs that we're using for bait, they... It's in their territory. They're more of a territorial fish, and uh, if it's not their eggs, they don't want them around. Now, that one you could smoke. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish, and I want to show all that, that little bobber. See where that hook is just hanging out. Yeah, and, and again, when that bobber goes down, tighten up your line and set the hook. Yep. 
No, this is incredible. And I think the neat thing, if folks want to come and do this with you, you've got all the equipment and everything is all set. All they got to do yeah, is... Yeah, I supply everything, John. Just bring uh, some clothes, food, drink, whatever you need. And again, we got until about mid to late October? Yep. Hey, why do you bring Gunter along, Caleb? He catches every fish. That guy is amazing. You know that? <laughs> that's exactly why. No, I mean, he's impressive. I mean, oh, that's a nice salmon. That's a smaller one, I think, Caleb, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Okay. Why, what a day this has been. Caleb, pretty decent one, buddy? Yeah, nice looking fish, John. Another male. Okay. Oops. Now that isn't that. Now look at how silvery that one is, Caleb. It's a good fish. That's another one that you could eat without a problem, oh, right? Yeah. That is cool. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. Yeah, that's good all thing right. Good thing Johnson pump. Yeah, but look at how silvery that fish is. You know, the, so the the lighter color they are is, is the, they've come in recently, right? Exactly. The darker they are, the more time they spent in this warmer water, you know, and that's kind of what, why they turn that color so fast. They get in this warm water. For more information on charter fishing on Lake Michigan, call Caleb Zorn. That phone number is 262 515-7944. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle. It's a play off the of Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes. Incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth. So you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises and then the third feature which is the most unique is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions and again you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh Pete those are awesome how can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. Wow, what a fun day. And you said that the salmon fishing will be good until like October? Yeah, it's going to be good another probably four or five weeks. And you and Neon Dion have a few openings? Yep, definitely. Give well, us a call. Awesome. Well, thanks for today. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet, but we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm Blake Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. <laughs>